Hello my dear friends and welcome to a new video from Mad Max Deals and Reviews. Today I want to speak about a topic I read a lot of crap uh, online. Many people do tell interested newbies wrong things. So it's about the OLED special batteries, those with the plus and the minus on the same side. Uh, the questions are, can you charge them outside in a regular charger and can you use regular batteries to run your OLED flashlights? Something like that. So we will talk about this in a second. At first, I want to thank my supporters. People like Scott and Mike, who use my newly, pa newly started Patreon program. Thank you for that. Uh, people who subscribe to my channel and hit now and then the like button. Thank you for that. And if you're one of the guys using my deals and my other um, affiliate stuff so where you can get better prices due to the big amount of people we are so we get good discounts we can share to each other and i get some commission so there's a win-win for everyone so you will find all of this information of course in the video description so now go into the batteries <laughs> As most as you know, OLED has this system with their magnetic charging cable, which is quite nice. I mean, some people really hate it. They rant about it online. Yeah, what if you lose that magnet thingy and why can't you use another cable? So what's when you lose the other cable? And when you uh, forget it at home when you go for a trip or you have it in the office and need it at home, uh, you can have your, lost your other cables too somewhere. So. I don't see really the point. I think that's a nice idea. You can just pop it on there on the OLED flashlights. They all have on the back side this charging port or charging point. It connects there. It's waterproof. It's nice. You cannot do it in the wrong direction, whatever. Works for these 18650 flashlights. It works the same for the small ones. It works for like the Seeker 2 and of course, that's too heavy, <laughs> it works, yeah, it's really too heavy, for the very new like the Warrior X Pro or the M2R Pro as Warrior as well. So yeah, what if you lose or forgot your charging cable or you do not trust it? People are, are reading that too. So there is one thing, uh, OLED has special batteries. They have integrated uh, electronics and the safety circuit and so on. And they use uh, to allow this magnetic charging, the plus and the minus on the front side. So there is one risk. If you use a regular charger, you could shortcut that. You could shortcut it if you put it with the keys or the change in the pocket or in the backpack. You don't do that. I mean, the electronic will limit the current going over there, so nothing critical will happen. And uh, but I'm not really sure how good it is for the fuse in there, for the electronic self-resetting fuse whatsoever, uh, to be activated and deactivated all the time. I think it will not be good for it over the time. So please try not to shortcut it. If it happens, it will not explode, in my opinion. So this is the 21700, the new ones, and they have this uh, plastic insulation ring, which is a little bit above the positive contact. So with that, it depends on your charger if it's first uh, able to hold these long cells. They are 67 to 77 millimeters long. 76 to 77, sorry for my bad English. So you need a charger uh, like this. I have my Nightcore UMS2. This has a small pin, something like that on the positive end. So you can load it in, be, and then you see it does not contact. Then it's just a little uh, wiggle around 
whoops to get the contact and as we see with this OLED 4000 milliamps it does not work out of the box so what you can do is use a small magnet I prepared one here a neodymium magnet and that's for your emergency use something like that and if you charge it then in there the there is a contact and of course it charges but be careful so that the uh, magnet doesn't jump off and shortcut or whatever so but that's for the worst case uh, the batteries the newer ones with 5000 milliamps from the Warrior X Warrior X Pro sorry they work without this magnet so it depends on your charger and on the small tolerances of your battery and there is an extra ST2 works with the 5000 milliamps and let's try the 4000 milliamp works too with the 4000 milliamp I think the, there is a small difference half or tenths of a millimeter so you try but it works and it will not break your battery the smaller batteries like this 18650 they use in this that's the titanium pro they do not have this black ring they are look like a regular button top uh, 18650 cell and of course there is no problem with the tolerances no problem to make contact swap it in and it will charge and of course be careful not to shortcut it and I'm quite sure that this will the smaller ones you can charge in every charger that's this for that the other thing is can you use uh, third-party batteries in your OLED flashlights and there is a little bit um, more misinformation out there as a rule of thumb I would say yes if you have um, that design where the positive goes backwards and the negative end is on the driver's side so in that case they use the positive and the negative here to have access for the charging port and for uh, operating the flashlight negative is connected to the driver and the positive is using the tube the battery tube uh, to go to the driver too so that is how it works and that's why you can use just another button top uh, battery put it in and it will work because negative is on the back side positive is on the on the housing and yeah it works and with uh, for example this uh, uh, button pro you can even use those primaries CR123A put two of them in there for emergency use of course because there's shorter runtime and it is not as bright as when you use the lithium ion batteries but yes it works you can use a 3 volt battery actually two of them in this Baton Pro TI and I think you can use them in the small ones as well but what's not gonna work is when you use where's this 5000 5000 with those new design the Warrior X Pro and the M2R Pro they have the 21700 cell and the battery goes with the front side to the driver so plus and minus are directly connected to the driver for powering the flashlight and the body is just used to send the switch signal to the driver on, a, on, the, on another port so in those new style switches the soft switches with two stages there is two resistors built in there I think it was 250 ohms and one kilo ohm something like that and the driver sensors 
if which stage the switch is, if it's open, if it's closed at 250 ohms or if it's closed at 1 kilo ohm and then it will activate the stage the flashlight is in. And actually I can prove that to you. That's the same for the M2R Pro Warrior. You can use the flat battery in there and I have a non-conductive finger. I hold it in there and it works just as you want to. It works using the side button because it's on the driver itself. So on the other hand, the Warrior X Pro uh, doesn't have a side switch so you cannot trigger it even if you have a wire to try to shortcut it and jump start it. That doesn't work. You need this special resistance so the driver can see it and so on. So, uh, and where's there's a regular 21700 battery if you, whoopsie, prove it in the M2R Pro. If you use the regular battery without the uh, negative contact here, of course, it does not work. If you find a manufacturer of batteries with the plus and the minus there, which are not from OLED, but they are mechanically compatible, but there's the special batteries from other companies, they, I assume they will work too, if they allow the amount of power those big ones draw. Um, so I tried the 18650 with a re uh, reducer. It does work, but when you go in turbo, the 18650 trips the uh, diffuse and shuts off. So, if you have any questions, uh, things I can try for you or play with me, with my, my things, let me know. Use the comment. If I told some something wrong, let me know. Educate me. Use the comment function. And at the end, thank you all for watching. Hopefully uh, you think about supporting me and my work and Hopefully we see, I see you soon. Bye-bye.